Right guys, this is a Ryzen Zero Dawn with no frame generation. As you can see, look, I am using GeForce Experience to record, so I am losing about 3 to 5 FPS. But generally, I'm getting around 50 to 55 FPS in this forested area, just to show you my settings. 1080p fidelity effects, super resolution on quality. And then graphics is a mixture of high and ultra, and one setting on medium. And then once I switch on frame generation, because I've already injected the mod, just change that to NVIDIA DLSS, apply, yes. And you'll notice the FPS goes up by 20 to 30 FPS. Only thing is there is slight height glitching and there is ghosting on the character. But you can see there was quite a significant jump in FPS. But um, look, it's not the worst height glitching in the world, but it is noticeable. And also the ghosting on the character is quite noticeable. I haven't figured out to start to get rid of the, the ghosting just as of yet. But uh, let me just show you quickly how to install it if you are interested in installing it, uh, even though there is ghosting. Right guys, to install the frame generation mod into Horizon Zero Dawn, you want to be using the latest version 0.9.0 .0, and you want to be using FSR 3 2.10. So what you're going to do is just copy these files to your desktop, boom, and then in optional NVX, you want to copy this file over here and then paste them in your desktop as well. Then what you want to do is locate where Horizon Zero Dawn is on your um, hard drive. So for me it's over here and then you just want to cut this into uh, your game folder boom so whether the game is cracked whether it's on steam or whether it is on epic store what you want to do before you launch the game you actually want to close msr afterburner and river tuner it's going to make your game crash so every time you start the game you have to make certain that river tuner and msr afterburner aren't open um, and then on Steam, what you want to do is go to Steam, go to Settings, go to In-Game, and you want to switch off your In-Game Overlay, above and beyond all that. And then for Epic Store, to delete the overlay, you have to delete the overlay. You want to go to C Drive, um, Program Files, x86, Epic Games, a Launcher, Portal, Extras, and then... Um, overlay and then make sure everything is deleted from this folder or else the game won't launch and then guys so before um just to show you quickly um uh, let me just close steam quickly so there are one or two extra steps so what you want to do to launch the game you definitely want to be closing river tuner and msr afterburner and then i'm going to launch uh horizon zero dawn quickly so you'll see the scripts hook and all that but there's one or two extra settings that you want to apply because the game is quite susceptible to crashes so once you get to the in-game lobby or the settings page over here what you want to do is just go to display and just make sure that it is on AMD FX super resolution apply yes and now what you can do is you can open up MSO Afterburner. But you have to you have to open up MSO Afterburner in the in the settings menu. If you open it whilst in the game, it's gonna crash your game. Once you've opened up MSO Afterburner, then you can go ahead and select DLSS. Boom. And that's how you install the mod. Guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope this helped. Got any questions? Hit me up in the comments. Have a good night. Cheers. Thank mm -hmm. you.